again. Alec Burks guarding it from the start. Wiggins again. Here's Curry for the record. It's good! There it is! Stephen Curry! The all-time three-point king in the NBA! This is Sir Wardell Stephen Curry II, and all of us now recognize him as the greatest shooter in basketball history. At least I would hope all of us do, if not that's crazy. But recently he's been in the race to pass Ray Allen and become the all-time three-point leader, and so I've been taking a look back at all of his signature games throughout this road. And of course, a lot of them came from his historic 2015-2016 unanimous MVP season, in which he set all kinds of records and made us rethink what was actually possible in terms of shooting. The game I wanted to go into in detail was a heavily anticipated matchup between the Golden State Warriors and the OKC Thunder, which among the Warriors fan base is now simply called the OKC game, or the Double Bang game, whichever one you prefer. But to stay true to the title, we're gonna call it the moment that made Steph Curry the greatest shooter ever. Because while most people remember what happened at the end of the game, not a lot of people remember the game. And when you look at everything that happened, it was the most storybook game that could have ever existed. So today we're gonna take a look back at that game, what exactly happened, and how those things made this game even crazier than it seems at first, and we're gonna talk about what this game meant for Steph Curry and the league as a whole. So let's get into the video. So before we begin, I know a lot of you guys watching this right now are not subscribed, so if you do fall into that category, please feel free to hit the sub button, it only takes a second and really helps out a lot. Also be sure to leave a like, that also helps out a lot. The Warriors had taken over the league after winning the finals. However, after winning the 2015 finals against an injured Cavaliers team, most people wrote off their championship and basically said they didn't earn a quote unquote real ring, as it was LeBron James and probably Matthew Delvadova as the second best player, and it still took Golden State six games to finish out the series. So Golden State heard all the chatter and responded by winning 24 straight games to start the season. Let me, let me say that again. The Warriors played two months of games without losing. Their first loss came at the hands of the Milwaukee Bucks on December 12th, and they just kept going after that. They were led by a trio of stars in Draymond Green, Klay Thompson, and Stephen Curry. Steph and Klay had already gotten a lot of credit for their shooting ability, and most people acknowledged that they were on a path to become two of the greatest shooters of all time. But of course, it wasn't always like that. Back in 2013, Warriors head coach Mark Jackson made a statement in which he claimed that Steph and Klay were the greatest shooting backcourt of all time. And believe it or not, people laughed at him when he said that. Then, sure enough, not even two years later, nearly everyone now had the same belief. You know, that it's crazy how nobody believes us when we say things like that and then they happen. That's just funny to me. But anyway, even though they'd gotten a lot of praise since then, had won a championship, and Steph Curry had broken the record for most threes made in a season, with the mark now standing at 286, the Warriors still felt like they had unfinished business to take care of. From doubts about the legitimacy of this team, to the few criticisms left of Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, and they used that as motivation for the rest of the season, staying on historic win pace throughout the year, and beating teams by a blowout margin. They blew out so many teams that Steph Curry wasn't even playing in fourth quarters because that's how much they were up by. The Warriors would enter February with a 44-4 and record, and this was led by Steph Curry, who most people had winning the MVP already at this point in the season, as Golden State had this insane record while he was averaging 29 points, 5 rebounds, 6.5 assists, and over 2 steals on 51-45-91 shooting splits. What he was doing was already incredible, then he came into February like a madman because in the month of February, he averaged 37 Seven points on 55 54 88 shooting splits. This included two 50 point games, one of which was against the Orlando Magic, in which he scored 51 points and became the first player in NBA history to score 50 or more points while shooting just one free throw. Steph was very clearly running away with the MVP with two months still left in the season. That brings us to the very next game. February 27th was a matchup between the Golden State Warriors and the OKC Thunder, both of which were expected to be title contending teams. The Warriors came in with a record of 52-5, and, and the Thunder came in with a record of 41-17. and this was one of the most anticipated matchups of the entire season. So off we go. Durant for three. Make great decisions once they switch, knowing who they're guarding. Curry fires away and hits the three. Behind the back and a crossover. 
Durant steps back, has room. For the Warriors, Durant to the basket. But my Steph and KD start out trading baskets early in the game, but after some time, Steph takes to the bench and OKC extends their lead to 14. Golden State tries to get the lead back down to a more manageable margin, and they eventually get the lead to 10, where Steph Curry is subbed back into the game. And what happens next is what we around here like to call a Curry flurry. Golden State scored 73 as Curry nails the three-pointer. Curry from the corner, another! Curry, long distance, puts it in! Stephen Curry with another three-pointer, his fourth! At the half, Steph Curry had 15 points on 5 for 9 shooting. All was well and pretty much normal. But that would all change with about 10 minutes and 40 seconds left in the third quarter, when this happened. It was daring Robertson to shoot, Durant throws it away, stolen by Curry. Fourth in the league in steals. Finds Barnes, Barnes up and in! And Curry a little shaken up, slow to get up. He's actually telling them to foul right now. He's hurt right now as Westbrook is fouled. Curry fell hard. Did not try to get up. And again, right away, as Mark said, was... Knowing Steph Curry's ankle history, we had no idea what this would mean for him. We didn't know if he would just miss the rest of this game, or if he would even miss a few more games afterwards. All those questions were up in the air because, let's face it, Steph's ankles have glass bones and paper skin, so a lot of people thought that would be the end of his game. But to nearly everyone's surprise, after about 15 minutes in the locker room and probably a metric ton of ankle tape, Steph made his way back to the scorer's table with about 5 minutes and 10 seconds left in the third. At this point, Steph still had his 16 points on 5 for 9 shooting. He checks back into the game, and... He hits. Sean Livingston giving advice to Ian Clark as Curry launches a three and gets the bounce. And hits again. He's been very erratic, especially shooting Curry for three. Stephen Curry from downtown. And hits again. Curry. Crossover, step back, three pointer, bang. First lead of the night for Golden State. Now clearly unfazed by the ankle turn and entering the fourth quarter with 25 points, people were getting increasingly anxious about this close game, and they were waiting to see who would stand up to the challenge, Steph Curry or Kevin Durant. Curry to the basket, layup is good. Curry from downtown, it's good! Curry from way downtown! Curry from downtown, puts it in! Stephen Curry! Curry out to Thompson, three-pointer, bang! One-point game! After bringing the Warriors back into the game with clutch shot after clutch shot, Steph Curry had made a statement, but unfortunately for Golden State, Kevin Durant was about to make his. Durant on the drive. Ibaka back out, Durant for three, bang! KD would hit a clutch three to give him his seventh three-pointer and 37th point of the game. And it looked like Golden State was pretty much SOL, unless a miracle happened. But remember, this game was a storybook hand-delivered by the basketball gods themselves. Thompson drives to the hoop, lays it in quickly. Still 11.8 remaining. Double-teaming Durant trying to stop him, throws it up. Deflected by Thompson! Green trying to save it, and he does! Ahead to Iguodala, Iguodala puts it up! No, a whistle and a foul! A foul is called! In one of the craziest turn of events, endgame sequences, and quite frankly one of the most controversial endings I've ever seen, the Warriors managed to do the impossible and give themselves a chance to tie the game and send it to overtime after being down by 4 with 10 seconds left. But it all depended on Andre Iguodala, the 61% free throw shooter, to hit his free throws. Two huge free throws. One down. That is two clutch free throws right there from a veteran.
I've always said that this was probably the most surprising thing that happened in that game, was Andre hitting the two free throws. But then again, he is a finals MVP, you know, not too many people have those. Fate of the universe on the line, I, you know the rest. We go to overtime. The Thunder started out on a quick 5-0 run to start the overtime, before Steph Curry draws this important foul on KD. Curry to the basket, layup high off the glass, he got knocked down. And it's I on Durant. It's, and Durant is fouled out. Sixth personal foul for Kevin Durant, and he's fouled out with 4-13 remaining in overtime. So now with KD out of the game, Golden State had opened up the door a little bit, but Steph Curry was about to kick it down. Plays. Curry for three, nails it! 10 three-pointers, back-to-back games with 10 threes, and he ties his NBA record for most threes in a season. And Curry, another three. Oh, it's good. The Curry eruption continues. A tie game. Wow. And now after 52 minutes of game time, way too many crazy plays, and 43 points from the reigning MVP, we finally get to the moment that made Steph Curry the greatest shooter ever. Westbrook. Back out single. Shot clock at seven. It's uncanny. I don't think there's ever been a guy in our league to be able to shoot the ball as well as he does. Westbrook on the drive, falling away! I think uh, right now from what I've seen, um, it's easy for me to say that he's the best that I've ever seen shoot. Rebound taken by Iguodala! I, I just, I'm, literally, I've never seen a play with the ability to do what this man is doing. He's shooting from wherever the f he chooses to, man! They do have a timeout, decide not to use it! Steph is the... I've never seen nobody like him. I told him last night, I said, when you play with force, like, you're, I've never seen a player like you before. Curry, way down top! Bang! Bang! Oh, what a shot from Curry! Steph Curry pulled up from 39 feet to sink the game-winning three, giving him his 46th point, 12th three-pointer of the game, and 288th three-pointer of the season. What came after was possibly the most tweets that I've ever seen from other NBA players talking about a single play. LeBron James saying, Steph Curry needs to stop it, man. He's ridiculous, man. Never seen someone like him in the history of ball. Kristaps Porzingis saying, is this real life? Damian Lillard saying, that boy Steph's something else. Seth Curry saying, chef. Dirk Nowitzki saying, no way. DeMar DeRozan saying, he can't be human. Dwayne Wade saying, Curry is unreal, and so many more that I'm not even gonna waste your time with. Reminder that he had just broken his single season record for three-pointers made, with a month and a half left in the season. He tied the record for three-pointers made in a game. He had just made history by becoming the only player in NBA history to hit 10 threes in back-to-back -back games. He led the Warriors to their 53rd win of the season, and just in case you forgot, he did all of this while spraining his ankle in the third quarter. After the ankle sprain, Steph Curry scored 31 points on 9 for 15 shooting and 8 for 11 from 3. He hit 8 threes after coming back in the middle of the third quarter. But it was this shot that changed what everyone thought was possible in terms of shooting a basketball. This was the shot that made NBA 2K come out and say that he may be the first player that they may never be able to replicate in their game. This was the shot that made NBA players not believe what they were watching. And this was the shot that made Steph Curry the greatest shooter of all time. So with all that being said, let me know what you guys thought. Also, leave a comment maybe sharing where you were when this happened because this was one of those things where if you saw it live, you remember. Let me know. But with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the bell to be notified when I upload. Comment down below what you want to see next. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.